When you're talking about late 90s Cartoon Network shows like The Powerpuff Girls, Dexter's Lab, and Ed Ed and Eddie, Johnny Bravo is another one that immediately comes to mind. Created by Van Parnable and officially premiering on CN in 1997, the series became very popular and ran for four seasons, which included two holiday-themed TV specials before it ended in 2004. To this day, Johnny Bravo is regarded as one of Cartoon Network's Golden Age classics. But as you may be surprised to find out, there was actually a very earlier animation concept that depicted Johnny in quite a different way than we see him now. Enter Mess O Blues, the precursor to Johnny Bravo created in 1993 as part of Van Partible's senior thesis project while at Loyola Marymount University. The short was created when Partible decided to enter the field of animation. He began a concept originally about three Elvis impersonators who fought crime. Given his lack of experience and the fact that he was doing all the work himself, he cut the idea down to only one Elvis, and Meso Blues was born. Partible's animation professor, Dan McLaughlin, then took the short and showed it to a friend of his working at Hanna-Barbera Productions at the time, where it was so well received that the studio immediately asked Partible to pitch the show to Cartoon Network, who was in need of more original programming at the time. It was then where Meso Blues changed into the original pilot called Johnny Bravo and premiered on Cartoon Network's What a Cartoon Block, where the series was then selected by the network to be produced as a full show. However, unlike the What a Cartoon pilot being publicly aired, that is not the case for Meso Blues, as this legendary short has never been released to the public in full, and only very few instances of content from it have surfaced at all. All visual evidence originally came from a longer piece of animation that was featured in the making of Johnny Bravo Minidoc, included as a bonus on the Season 1 DVD. These short clips are all the actual animation we've ever seen from the short, though recently surfaced animation cells also give us an idea of the short's content. But this is where the mystery really gets interesting and why I've used that famous screenshot in most of my lost media videos. This instance really emphasizes the concept of something being lost to the public. Without that DVD release containing the few visuals that it did, we wouldn't even have any knowledge of this short existing in the first place, because Meso Blues has never and probably will never be released to the public. It's likely that Van Partible is the only person who is in possession of a copy, considering it was just a college project and was developed by him alone. This means that it's almost impossible for any kind of unofficial leak to occur. And as for an official release, there's only a very small chance of that happening, since Johnny Bravo is a pretty old and dated series. I suppose the short could be included on some kind of anniversary or special DVD in the future, or Van Partible could show it at a convention if he decides to go to one to air it, but I find both of those scenarios unlikely. At some point last year I did reach out to him inquiring about it, but never got a response as the people before me who have tried also found out. And while I'm sure he gets asked about Meso Blues a lot, and whether or not his lack of reply was intentional or not, perhaps Meso Blues is more of a humble or personal project for Van, and not something he really wants to put out there for people to judge him on, and it wasn't created intentionally for a series pitch. I mean, I'd be excited to one day watch Meso Blues and actually get it archived online for all to see, but it seems more like one of those times where you put it on your back burner and hope that someday it shows up without going on an active search for it, especially when there are more classic scenarios of failed pitches and reworked pilots to be involved in searching for, rather than a student film from a legacy involving only one cartoon. But until the day Meso Blues does get released, it'll definitely remain a mystery.